Okay, so finally, iOS 16.4 is officially here. And now with this new software update, I wanted to share with you guys a few things you should definitely do right after you update your iPhone to the latest iOS 16.4. So let's just dive right into this video. Now, as always, if you would like to stay up to date with the latest iOS news and Apple software updates, of course, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you turn on those notifications so that you don't miss another episode. Now the first thing you should always do right after you update your iPhone to a major software update or any update for that matter is you want to head on over into the settings application on your iPhone then you want to head on over into general and then you want to click into the about section. Now the reason I tell you to do this is because oftentimes there's new carrier updates and that means that it will populate and pop up on your screen in the center of your screen if you do have one available. Now not everyone will get a carrier update after a major software update but a lot of carriers do push out a new carrier update for better compatibility network performance call quality so if you want to go ahead and head on over into settings again go into the about section if you see a pop-up here suggesting a new carrier update is available I highly recommend you do that because a lot of carriers are now getting standalone 5g support with iOS 16.4 so you might want to look into that now the next thing you want to do is of course you want to go ahead into the app store and even if you have automatic app updates enabled you want to go into your avatar here and then you want to scroll down and see if there's any app updates available now the reason I say this is because oftentimes when a major software update like iOS 16.4 is released some applications lose compatibility and sometimes the automated system to update the apps doesn't kick in quickly enough but that way you can check yourself and make sure your apps are up to date for better compatibility and performance as well so those two things I recommend you do first now something else I highly recommend you do right after you update to iOS 16.4 if you own an Apple watch you want to go into the watch application on your iPhone and then you want to head on over into general and then go into software updates and you should see watch OS 9.4 available for you to download of course this includes better performance for your Apple watch better compatibility with your iPhone additional updates for cycle tracking and AFib history a lot of new stuff and improvements are packed into watch OS 9.4 so I highly recommend again you launch the watch application go into general software update and update your apple watch so that it works better with your iphone on ios 16.4 now with ios 16.4 apple has also updated home kit and now not only the home pods but the actual infrastructure right the entire home kit architecture has been updated with ios 16.4 by the way your home pods did get an update so once you launch the home application you'll see this right here home upgrade available. This means you now get the ability to update the HomeKit architecture by going into settings in your home app and then going into software updates. And this will improve reliability, compatibility, performance overall. So if you experience any lag with HomeKit, this should improve the HomeKit experience with your iPhone. And of course, your HomePods also did get the update as well. So make sure you update your HomePods as well using the same method. So yeah, HomeKit architecture, one of the biggest updates coming to HomeKit with iOS 16.4. So I highly recommend you check for that update. Now there's two more things I would highly recommend you do right after you update to iOS 16.4. If you go into settings here and you go into general and then go into about section, we have coverage. Right here you can see an entire breakdown of the warranty of your devices. If you need any help, any support, you get information here. You get to see when your warranty expires and a nice breakdown right here under coverage. This is something that Apple has recently updated and I think it's important to share with you guys. Now another great feature in iOS 16.4 that I recommend you take a look at is now you can use voice isolation for any cause so voice isolation you can go into the microphone right here options and control center right after you initiate a call long press and select voice isolation this will remove any background noise and it will improve your call quality overall the call quality will be just a lot better with the new voice isolation and those are some of the things I recommend you do right after you update to iOS 16.4 I hope you guys enjoy this big update thank you for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.